Hi guys, this is Osama Gaza. Welcome to my channel. And in today's tutorial, I'll be talking about the zoom transition. Uh, before we start, guys, don't forget to check my other videos and tutorials and also my Instagram account. I'll make sure to leave the link down in the description so you can stay updated with my latest designs and videos. All right, so let's get started. All right, so in order to use the zoom transition Adobe Premiere Pro, you will need two clips that you're going to transition between. Then you will have two choices to apply this transition. First of all is by applying your effect on each separate clip. And the second choice, which I personally prefer, is just using adjustment layer to use your effects and apply the transition all at once on all your clips. All right, so to create adjustment layer, what you need to do is by either going to this new item button in the project panel. Sorry for that, guys. In the project panel, as you can see here, click it, adjustment layer. And of course, the aspect ratios must be the same with is 1920 by 1080, 24 frames per second. Hit OK. And set it right on your clips, OK? The other way is just by going to File, New, and adjustment layer but of course just make sure you're highlighting your project panel go to file new adjustment layer okay uh, and if you guys think the adjustment layer is a little bit long what you can do is just grabbing the eraser tool and trim it a little bit so it looks nicer and covers the exact area you want to apply the transition on all right so the first step is to duplicate this layer then you will have to decide what zoom transition you're trying to apply either it's zoom in or zoom out transition okay in this case i will be doing the zoom in transition so i will drag this new copy we just created all the way to the right to cover the second clip and we have the original adjustment layer covering both clips all right so now as we created our adjustment layers the first one or the original one which is set right in the center between our two clips and the second one is only covering the second clip the second step is by going to the effects panel and search for something called replicate all right then drag it and drop it onto the second adjustment layer that covers the second clip only and as you guys can see this effect replicates our clip into four tiles as you guys can see here but we will need to increase the number of tiles to six and to do this we just have to go to the replicate effect we just created as you guys can see here and increase this count slider to three and that will increase the tiles to six and the reason we did that is because we need to cover all the corners when we zoom in because if you guys can see here the zoom in transition will target this tile in the middle. And if we did not use the replicate effect, we would have had black edges around this tile, which is going to look really ugly. And that's why we use the replicate effect. Then we need to get rid of these edges, as you guys can see here. And uh, to do that, we just need to search something called mirror drag it and drop it onto the second adjustment layer then as you guys can see there are two measurements the y and the x axis okay um actually we're gonna be doing this same effect a number of times exactly four times and we do it four times because we need to get rid of four lines in symmetry right left up and down okay so the first mirror will be to get rid of the this edge at the bottom and to do this we just have to set the reflection angle of the first mirror to 90 degrees then start dragging this reflection center the 540 degrees or the 540 value all the way down until we can't see this edge anymore just make sure you're not going so far because if you did you will have this new edge and it won't look good All right then drag and drop another mirror effect onto the second adjustment layer and this time we'll be trying to get rid of the upper edge as you guys can see here and to do this we will need to set the reflection angle to negative 90 degrees then drag the y-axis all the way up 
this time and yeah that's it all right so now as we're done with the upper and lower edges we need to get rid of these right and left edges and to do that we will have to create two more mirrors drag it and drop it onto the second adjustment layer this time we will set the reflection angle to 180 degrees then drag the 1920 value all the way to the left and what we're trying to do now I'm, I'm not done guys I just want to show you that we are trying to hide this left edge okay so keep dragging until you completely hide it but again don't go so far because we don't need to create another one <laughs> so and it's right about here oh, oh okay so now going to drag and drop the fourth and final mirror and this time we will set the reflection angle to 360 degrees then drag it all the way to the left again until we hide this final edge and here we go so now as you guys can see like all the edges are completely hidden and um, it's just a bunch of replicated tiles attached to each other all right so now we have everything ready uh, for finally applying the zoom transition uh, but before just moving to the final step just make sure that your original adjustment layer is set right in the middle between the two clips then go to the effects panel search for something called transform then drag it and drop it onto the first original adjustment layer okay then move the cursor to where you want the zoom transition to start i will let's say start it here set a keyframe and we're setting a keyframe for the scale okay then move the cursor to the second clip and let's say we will end the transition right about this point and the second keyframe will actually be 300 and the reason we set it up at 300 is because if you guys remember in the beginning of this video we did replicate this clip six times by changing the count slider up to three and that's why we change in the scale number to 300 in order to have the original tile that was in the middle okay let's check that out it actually works pretty nice all right, so the final step to fine tune our transition is to hide these edges uh, and make it a little bit blurry. And that would be by going to um, the shutter angle. But before that, we just have to uncheck use composition and increase the shutter angle all the way up to 360. And let's check it out again. Yeah, it's a little bit slow. If you guys want to speed up the uh, preview process you can just um, go to where you want to preview the beginning of your preview and hit I and then go to the end of your preview and hit O on your keyboard then go to sequence render in and out so as you guys can see uh, this point is the peak of our transition and as you guys can see we increase the shutter angle all the way up to 360 and that's why it's a little bit blurry at the edges and the final step to fine tune our transition is by going to scale drop down this arrow and the slider over here drag it all the way down but don't go too crazy because we don't want to mess up the transition just slide it all the way down until you have this peak or this spike in your curve and that will give this gradual speed to your transition so it looks nicer and even more seamless okay all right so that was everything about the zoom in transition and uh the zoom out transition is pretty much the same process the only difference is that instead of applying the replicate and mirror effect on the second layer we will be applying that on the first layer let me drag it to cover the first layer or the first clip i'm sorry then we will have to flip the values of these keyframes the zoom or the transform keyframe so instead of having 100% at the first keyframe we will make that 300 
and the second or the last keyframe will be 100%. And you guys can preview that. But of course, you just have to make sure that your clips and the movement of your camera is a good fit to the zoom out transition. Here, as you guys can see, the camera was pretty much moving forward. So that's why the video was good for the zoom in transition. If we want to apply the zoom out transition, the camera must be either zooming out or moving backwards. All right, so that was everything about the zoom transition in Adobe Premiere Pro. Uh, next time I'll be explaining how to create a preset for your effects. So and instead of just going through this whole process one more time, um, every time you want to apply the same transition, you can just find it in the effects panel, just drag it and drop it, uh, which is going to be so much easier. Um, and I'll be making a preset and creating a link for my zoom transition, the one you saw me doing in this tutorial, so that you guys can download it and use it right away and it's going to be for free so you don't have to worry about anything. Alright, if you guys have any comments or suggestions, please leave it in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram if you want to stay updated with my upcoming videos and designs. Thank you guys so much. Hope you like this tutorial and see you next time. Oh,